welcome to my channel Dr. Munshi Nasser Skill Talk. How are you my dear learners? In this video we are going to talk about how to write a smart research article for a quick publication in a very fast Scopus Index journal. This is a Teachers Day special video and for my Indian viewers and all over the world happy Teachers Day. So let us start the video with a very interesting information I hope this will be a very useful one. So without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, as you can see, I have shared so many journals where you can publish your Scopus Index articles very quickly. Now in this video, I'm going to share few of those journals. They are Scopus Index and most of them are UGC care listed and these journals are quite fast. But to write your article for this journal a little bit different. It should be it should be a very smart way so that it can be published in those particular journals. What journals we are talking about? Journals like Biodiversity Data Journals, BMC Research Notes, Data in Brief, Art System Science Data, Geoscience Data Journal, Giga Science, International Journal of Robotics Research. Journal of Chemical Engineering Data, Journal of Open Archaeology Data, Public Health Data, Psychology Data, Journal of Open Research Software, Scientific Data. And on top of it, another one additional journal called the Discover Data. Why these journals are fast and why they need a special writing skill? Because these journals are based on data description. They publish the data descriptive articles. As you know, normally a research article contains seven to 8,000, sometimes 10,000 words. But in this type of journal, you can publish your article with less than 3,000 words. So it's a very fast way of writing and fast publication opportunity. Okay. So now I'm going to share how to write that particular article using one of my example. Let's assume I am. I would like to write a paper data set to understand the impact of social media marketing variable on India, Indian bank customer engagement using structural equation modeling. So social media marketing it influence on Indian bank customer engagement. That is my title and what I am trying to achieve here the study examines the relationship between variables, customer relation management, CRM, and social media marketing, demographic variables such as gender, education, age group, income group, with the outcomes of customer engagement. CE means customer engagement and CRM means customer relation management. So, how social media marketing are related to customer engagement and customer relation management. So that is my objective of the research and I have several primary data for this particular article. Okay. By the way, in order to collect the primary data, you can always refer to the freelancing website Fiverr. There are a lot of people who can help you to collect your data online and offline. So many of my researchers ask me how to collect the survey data quickly. So I would suggest Fiverr is a very good place where you can assign freelancer to collect data for you and you can always get a revision from them if you don't satisfy. So that's a very good idea. I tried this way and I'm very happy with that purpose. Now, after that, I have some keywords like structural equation modeling, social media marketing, customer bank. Then I have introduction, a little bit of introduction, what I would like to achieve, what is my research problem and what is my research question. Okay. And in that case, I need some referencing, right? In order, to, in order to cite some references, the best way to do that is using Zotero. So I already developed a Zotero file where I accumulated all the related articles. And where do I get the last five years recent article related to my title? The best way to go and check this is the size space. In my previous video, I discussed about the size space. So, in this video, the, sh the same way you can collect your last five years recent articles very easily 
using size space and I can get information from each of this article for my literature review and the introduction and the research problem formulation by chat with PDF this particular option. So in the size space you have a direct tag in chat with PDF meaning that your PDF file the articles you can talk ask and get information for your literature review research question formulation. So that's a very interesting way and I, I also have a Zotero plug in in my word file which you can download from the Zotero website. You can add in the Zotero word add in from Zotero website. Once you write the introduction research problem and research question then comes the theoretical foundation and usually the theoretical foundation you can take help from chat GPT or in another interesting platform called emu.ai. There's a very interesting low paid AI platform there are other several platforms like jenny.ai but those are a little bit expensive and not comprehensive and without not without plagiarism but this platform is without plagiarism and it's a very interesting thing for example if i if i would like to write something just you can see use ai so there are so, sort of many things paraphrasing shorten expand academize academize the tone summarizing and then citation then you can write in depth, write supporting argument, write opposing argument. So many options you can use in this particular AI, which is called emu.ai. So in this emu.ai, I can easily write the literature review, my research question formulation and the research problem and the theoretical foundation very easily. I would suggest you can try this one if you wish to. Now, next, once I develop some theoretical foundation, give some citation, that the next thing is the methodology. Since in my title, I talked about the structural equation modeling is my title. Now, interestingly here, one of these is the OSF information. This is called the project data analysis model. Recent literature and other information are in public link of OSF. OSF is an interesting place for archiving your documents and share in for your publication. In those particular journals, they require a OSF platform. OSF platform in recent days is very important open science platform and you can create a account using your orchid ID or Gmail account okay so here there are three important uh, file or paper I have already de decorated you can click one and in this particular case the impact of social media marketing all my resources are documented in the OSF platform so you can just copy the OSF link and then you can add it to your research article that will be a comprehensive and significant way of sharing your data your software application and analysis and you do not have to write so many things maybe few things in this particular uh, paper and many other things maybe literature review added extension nexus literature review you can add and post it in the osf file and then give the link here okay then comes the data collection. As I told you, I use the Fiverr for data collection and this is an online data for 600 customers from different banks in India. Then we have measurement variables and interestingly since we are doing a, a structural equation modeling, we have a model specification, the direct effect, the customer relation management, how are these important uh, variables or the questions are related to this and customer engagement how this is related to customer relation management and other perceived information about the service from the bank and there are some age group and income group also I added as a factor or control variables now after that we need to analyze the data and for that you go to JAPS JAPS is open source software and this is my data set you can always upload this excel file into the JAP. JAPS and JEPS will give you a nice little diagram in this particular case and you can see this is my measurement model which I already developed in my using my article. You can always take help from the chat GPT because chat GPT can help you to formulate your measurement model for structural equation modeling. So JEPS here I paste it here and then once I press run it will automatically create my tables my graphs and all the charts that is required for my analysis and for this i can always try help from the size space as well 
because in Sci Space, I can upload a any file for my analysis file and I can ask any question like explain the table, explain the figure, explain the graph. Sci Space Chat with PDF will explain for me and then I will copy that particular information and paste it underneath of my table or figure. So as you can see here that after the specification, I'm, I try to give a specification table where the subject is marketing strategy, subject specific area, how data were acquired, description of data collection, data source location, one table like that. Then the data file items, what does it CR means, CE means, PISM means, then value of the data, what, what is the value I am adding by using this data in the literature, what is my contribution of this data collection, what data is telling about, so that is here the value of the data, very important part of the research article for those journal publications. Then data description, okay, then we have the results and discussion. And here I put the table, this is my description and this is my analysis and interpretation of the table. And once I have this path diagram, you can always explain the path diagram with the help of chat GPT and the size space. And after that, we have conclusion and contributions. So all in all, this is a very small paper. You can see 3000 words, six, uh, 12 pages. And if I uh, remove the references, it may be um, less than about eight pages. Eight pages research article with 3000 words. And if I exclude references, it may be uh, 2,500 words. So this 2,500 words research article can be written like this step. And you can declaration of interest and supplementary materials you should add into this paper as well like this way. And once you are ready, then after this, you go and check your journals like data in brief. This is a journal where you can submit this article. Then you have science data you can submit your article then you have discovered the data you can submit this type this type of article and there is a list of other articles here journals here where you can submit this type of article and don't forget to create an osf account where we can share your supplementary files like data literature review probably the excel data file and the jeps file as well so with these steps and the journals i'm sure you can easily write a small, brief, smart research article and submit to these particular journals with the help of tools like Zotero, Jabs, and then SciSpace, Emu. I'm sure this is going to be a very comprehensive article writing, smart writing, and smart publication. And these journals that I'm sharing, they are very fast, very quick. Within 12 to 10 days, 10 to 12 days, you will get your first revision. So, in my opinion, you can try and follow my steps in order to write your next research article. So, be smart, be quick and publish or perish. Thank you so much, my dear learners. Happy Teacher's Day again. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.